a chance to talk later, but let's get a picture of you too. <laughs> Hi, my name is Gano Perez, and I'm the GIS Cultural Technician for the Historic and Cultural Preservation Department. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Bridge the Gap, how it started. It started out as a grassroots movement to, to better relationship between government to government, uh, particularly the U.S. Forest Service and tribes. And this is the 17th annual Terridge Gap meeting, so it's been going on for 17 years and now it's grown from those six people, six or seven people, all the way up to 300 people is the approximate um, count that we had. So this brings together state and federal agencies that we consult with in the Southeast, uh, multiple departments of transportation, all the uh, states that we that we have consultations with, you know, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, South Carolina, and so on. Um, hello, uh, my name is Georgiana Pongayesva, and I am a research. I am from the Hopi tribe, and I'm a research assistant and NAGPRA coordinator for them with the Hopi Cultural Preservation Office. Um, I am here, I was invited here to co-present with Mike Linden from the Forest Service on our partnership um, that we do with the Hopi Tribe um, and the Forest Service on our Waters for Life project. And I also helped out Noni Nez on her co and Daniel Kane on their presentation with Tribal Monitoring because I was a participant in that program this year. I do want to give a big um, thanks to the staff of the Muskogee Creek Nation um, Cultural Preservation Office and Historic Preservation, everything that we've got because they do an amazing job. And um, what I like about them is that so much of their hearts in what they do. And uh, they do an amazing job of it. And um, they've probably told you about the cemetery restoration project and now that we're over 250 cemeteries that that you've mapped out and and, and um, so you know I think that's so significant to us as Muscogee people because they're going back and making sure that where our people lay um, that that site is recognized and we protect it and we maintain it you know it needs to be done and it's our way of making sure that the future generations can go to see their ancestors where they're buried after we were removed here and um, and they're scattered all over the place if we have 250 um, just within the 11 people county in the area. southeast there's a lot of archaeologists out there that work with universities and the state and federal agencies that they work for either by their their consulted um, consulting parties to those agencies. We work with them and joint projects and they keep us in the loop as to where we're at on the phase of the project and to make sure that we're at the table instead of being on the table in the end.